night furies. Elusive, ferocious, and with incredible velocity. That was once some of the only words ever spoken about this dragon of the dark. The night fury was a creature rarely seen but often heard. Night fury! Get down! Since the Dark Ages, when the world of dragons were at constant war with the world of humans, the Night Fury was known as something truly extraordinary. Today, the dragon is still revered, but for much different reasons. We discovered the much needed truth about these dragons when a young boy stumbled upon a downed dragon. From the very beginning of Toothless and Hiccup's friendship, we were learning important facts about this majestic being, discovering more about the dragon that had never before been properly introduced to the human world. Toothless revealed to us that the Night Fury was not a fearsome killer, but rather a compassionate and intelligent creature sharing many similarities to humans. While there is great and many aspects to explore about the Night Fury, today we are going to take a look at the lifespan of these obsidian flyers. The very first time age is mentioned is upon Toothless' first meeting with Volka. As she inspects him, she addresses his age to Hiccup. And look! He's your age! Hiccup's age at the time is confirmed to be 20 thus naturally placing Toothless in the same age group. Volker identifies Toothless' age based on the amount of nubs that adorns his cheeks. This gives us a valuable clue in uncovering the truth about Toothless' lifespan and anticipate how Toothless would transform through the years. If we compare Toothless throughout the four stages of known age in his life, Firstly, the encounter with Hiccup. Toothless was roughly around 15 years of age at this time. Secondly, during the Great War with Drago Bloodbiss, Toothless' age was confirmed to be around 20 years. Thirdly, during the time of the migration to Newburgh, Toothless, similar to Hiccup, was 21 years of age. And fourthly, the reunion between Hiccup and Toothless many years after the separation of dragons and vikings. The timeline is a bit fuzzy at this point since no proper timestamp is addressed. However, assuming from both Hiccup's appearance and his children's age, I would estimate Hiccup's age to be around 30 to 35 years, thus making Toothless the same. The transformation Toothless undergoes throughout the years gives us clues as to what age does to the appearance of a night fury. A thicker brow, increased amount of facial knobs, larger wings and tail, as well as an overall more muscular build are all indicators of age in night furies. Across the span of five years, Toothless' overall size has not increased considerably. He appears to have reached his adult size with only minor increases in certain properties such as a more muscular chest and more defined spikes. Through the years, Toothless' size would most likely not increase noticeably beyond his current state. However, changes such as longer spikes and an increase in facial knobs are more likely. Toothless' age cycle seems to have followed that of Hiccup, a human leading us to one of the most important questions about his age. Can Night Furies outlive humans? The age of the different dragon species is not something that is specifically addressed and it makes it difficult to anticipate how old Toothless can become. In the first movie, it's a known fact that the Vikings of Berg had been at war with the dragons from the nearby dragon nest for generations. The queen of that nest being the Red Death, the Alpha of the Bergian Raider Dragons. If we assume it's the same Alpha that has been sending waves of dragons to scavenge and steal food from Berg for as long as Vikings have lived on the island, then that would make the Red Death several hundred years old. Another dragon assumed to be ancient is the Bewilderbeast. 
The age of this dragon is heavily debated though. Some believe it is only a few years old and other believe it has long passed a thousand. Looking at the facts, it's most apparent that Volker has lived with this dragon for 20 years and never described meeting it as a youth, meaning the dragon must be well over 20 years at least. In other tales of dragons, such as Game of Thrones, dragons are known as fast-growing yet near-immortal creatures, able to grow to their full size within a few years, but surviving several generations of humans and become hundreds of years old. In the tale of Smaug the Magnificent, the King of Erebor, he was described to have lived for more than 200 years and still possessed immense vitality and vigor at this age. By following the examples of other well-known dragons, it is my belief that dragons, regardless of their habitat, are magical beings able to survive for much longer than humanity, enabling Toothless to grow ancient in his well-protected kingdom of the hidden world. Imagining what Toothless would look like at nearly a thousand years old is an interesting task, one I have decided to take on. Let's try to visualize this ancient Toothless. I've done several concepts and been trying to keep them within the realm of reason and believability. I imagine Toothless as a magnificent elder, with wear from the ages, but with a still very recognizable and strong demeanor. Thanks for watching this study and exploration of Toothless Elder Years. I hope you found it interesting and entertaining. Take care.
fellow dragonlings.